So in this video, we're going to show you how to turn the Nana Banana generated image uh, to a 3D object. So hopefully this is interesting. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, so first, to generate a Nana Banana image, then you just go to Google Studio. If you have issues uh, to log into Google Studio uh, for some reason, um, you can uh, just show me a, a Discord message, then uh, I should be able to help you. Uh, so. But if you just uh, log into Google uh, Air Studio, you should be able to uh, get to the Nana Banana page. Then you should be able to just uh, first figure out what type of uh, 3D image you want to generate. For example, um, this is the uh, Nana Banana uh, generated image, which is very popular. So basically, there's a very popular prompt that allows you to generate an image like that. Uh, but how to turn this image into a 3D object. So this is what we're going to talk about in this video. And uh, so follow through and all these uh, steps and all the tutorials uh, that we demo in this video is totally free. So feel free to use that for your own project. So that being said, uh, let's continue. So once, once you get this um, photo from Nana Banana, then next you want to actually remove everything around it. So um, for example, uh, first you want to remove the background. So let's say uh, just uh, prompt the uh, Google Studio to actually remove the background. And then after that, uh, make sure uh, you remove everything else. Like for example, a leather uh, girl in the back. So you can remove that as well. So now we've got a clean image. After that, you want to generate a uh, orthographic uh, projections. So basically what that means is you want to generate uh, a image from different angles. So, and also you want three images, not just one image. For example, I want to create a front side and also the left side and also back uh, views from this uh, image. Then just do that. Um, and then it will actually create three images for you. One is for the front, one for the side, the other one is for the back. So just save uh, and download these images. And after that, you can use these three images to create a uh, 3D object. So it's very cool, very convenient, and also you can print it if you have a 3D printer. So that being said, let's go to the um, Comfy UI. So we're going to actually demo everything uh, to generate the 3D object uh, using Comfy UI. So first, you need to set everything up. Uh, so I will not demo everything uh, for this tutorial. We have plenty of tutorials in this channel to demo, uh, demo how to install Comfy UI on Kaggle. So uh, in this case, I'll basically just go through the models you need to download. Uh, the first model you have to download is the um, Hong 3D uh, DIT V2.0 model. So basically this is from the Kaiji repo. So just download this specific model. Uh, and then also the offshore repo from the Tencent, uh, which is the Hong 3D DIT V2 and V, which is um, the multi-view stands for multi view so download that so both model works so uh, but in this demo we're just gonna use um this uh one 3d dit um emotion and we might be able to just use the uh kaiji kaiji model as well so basically this one is pretty good so i know um as of now the horn 3d came out with the uh, 2.1 version but uh we're gonna use a uh comfy ui custom node and that node does not support the uh, 2.1. So 2.0 quality is very good. Uh, for some reason, I have not seen a 2.1 version come out, uh, but um, 2.0 should be good enough to generate a pretty good quality 3D. But in the future, probably similar steps, you can use the 2.1 version, but right now we're just going to use the uh, 2.0. And also, uh, you can choose any of these models and for the rest of the steps. So this is one thing I want to mention uh, in this tutorial uh, to download this model and make sure you put the model in the uh, diffusion models folder. So don't put it in the checkpoint, it might not work. And then after that, um, 
you do need to actually download a couple more uh, small models. Uh, for example, you want to download the VAE model. So make sure the VAE is downloaded uh, to this uh, Huion 3D, uh, from the Huion 3D 2.1 repo and put it into the ConfUI VAE folder. And after that, make sure uh, you also uh, download a uh, different custom nodes. So the different custom nodes, uh, including the ConfUI GGUF, um, you probably do not need this, but uh, for this project, but uh, I usually just put everything as default, so it is easier once you uh, have a different flow and then you want to use it. So, uh, and this one, basically you need a Conf UI manager. You can also install everything inside the Conf UI, uh, UI but uh, I just uh, install it uh, when you are uh, doing this Conf UI install. Then you probably also need the other uh, utility tools like the uh, Chris uh, tools and also uh, frame interpolation, but you probably don't need this tool in this project. I still put it uh, just for reference. Um, and also, you do need the KJ node. So, this is KJ node. So, you have a lot of utilities that you can use. And then you also need a video helper suite. You probably, but in this project, again, you might not need a video production. Uh, so, this is also probably optional. And uh, you do need the Conf UI Essentials. So this is needed for the 3D generation process. After that, um, you do need to download the very important uh, two custom nodes. One is for Huiyuan 3D wrapper. So this is the one that we're going to use for today's uh, video, for today's tutorial. But the other one you want to uh, try out is the Huiyuan 3D 2.1. This uh, is for a different workflow. You do, if you do want to try the, the uh, Visual Bruno, try this guy's uh, workflow. Just use uh, this Git repo and also install this custom node. But we're going to use the Kaijai one um, and it has very good quality. So uh, we're going to just um, probably just use the Confi UI Huiyuan 3D wrapper. So this is 100% needed. This is optional. If you want to try a 2.1 flow, but 2.1 flow doesn't have the uh, same quality as the 2.0 kind drivers. So just to mention that, and then you also want to install uh, this custom uh, rasterizer. So this is uh, needed. So this is 100% needed. Um, so just install that. It's going to be um, in the ConfUI Huangyuan 3D uh, 2 one repo, and also. Um, you want to install the differentiable render, so make sure you install that as well. So these are uh, both uh, required mandatory that you have to install. And basically this is going to help you to generate a mesh. So that's why it's important. Make sure these are all installed. And then those probably are optional. Basically these are some of the uh, dependencies if you're uh, having issues uh, set up in Kaggle. You want to install those. And uh, after that, I think you are ready to go. Uh, sometimes the installation has some issues, like uh, you do need to install the uh, run BG, but somehow uh, it does not install. If it doesn't, just uh, install it manually. I make sure you test it as well. So that's why we actually installed all these different uh, pip packages. They were supposed to be installed, but somehow it just didn't get installed. Um, but anyway, let's continue. Then. Uh, you do need to uh, check out all the packages or all the nodes and also models that are downloaded or not. Just install the tree node, then you can actually uh, check out all the different uh, things that you installed within this uh, folder. And so that's all. So that's all the uh, preparation steps uh, you want to um, do uh, for generating the 3D. So, And lastly, you do need to uh, install uh, Terminal. So basically, we use the local terminal in this uh, tutorial. Uh, you can install Ungrok or uh, maybe a Gradle terminal, but local terminal works best uh, in this case. So I just install the local terminal. So you do need to upgrade pip uh, npm and also make sure you uh, install local terminal. Then you can get the link from this script, local terminal to the port, and also you can get the password from here. So basically, this is the terminal password. It's going to be different for every uh, request, uh, but let's just uh, use that. And also, 
uh, lastly, you don't need to install the um, basically to run everything. Uh, because one thing to note is that uh, there's a permission issue, permission issue for installing the um, Comfy UI Home 3D wrapper because it's actually not in the default channel, so it does not allow you to use that to change the permission. You have to update this um, config init file, so very important. So make sure in update the config init file, change the uh, security level from normal to weak. So this will actually allow you to install uh, custom nodes uh, from unauthorized uh, resources. So, but Kaiji is authorized, it's just not in the default channel. So uh, make sure you change that, then you can actually install it in the UI. If you do not need to install it in the UI, for example, as we demo in the previous steps, so if you actually install it in here, then you probably do not need to change the permission. I just still put in here uh, in case you need it. And lastly, make sure to spin up the copy UI main UI. So that's it. So this this will actually give you uh, a 818080 address. Then you can actually route the terminal to. So that should be it. So as we are recording this video, so you can see basically the first uh, 3D we created is using one image, not three images. So the first one image, we actually use a cartoon character. Um, so you can probably tell which cartoon character is that. And basically, we just uploaded the image in here. So there's some network issue that you cannot see here, but uh, we actually uploaded an image here, and then we generate this mesh. And then we also can tell that the um, generation process it's very smooth. It's just some network issues. So we wouldn't be want to be able to see everything in here, but um, uh, you can just uh, follow this workflow. You can download the workflow from Kaijas uh, Coffee UI Home 3D Wrapper. Uh, you can go to the example workflows uh, and then use the uh, example 01. So this is for the one that we demoed here. And so basically, this is the easier one, and there's more difficult, uh, complicated multi-view one. We're going to basically use the three different images to generate the 3D. Uh, so that would be in this. So uh, basically, multi-view examples. So and that should be uh, we work on demo next. So this is an easier one, but uh, again, so it won't be able to see everything in here, but uh, it's there just uh, somehow it's loading because of network. and. Uh, if you go to the other one, which are, uh, we used for the other 3D, maybe there's some issues with the uh, network right now. So um, just use this one and upload three images in here. So one is in here, and you can upload the uh, front end, front end here, the uh, side one in here, and also the back one in here. So, and after that, make sure you select the right model. Um, the right model is in here, so the whole in 3D. Uh, just select the V2.01, so and then click run. It should be ready to go. The other models will be automatically downloaded. Um, if you see any other models in here, such as the 3D uh, Delight, uh, I think there's another one, but uh, those are, should be automatically downloaded. So the only thing you have to uh, download by yourself is the um, the actual model, the diffusion model, and also maybe a VA, and that should be it. Um, so, yeah, so that should be for this demo. Uh, I think there's some network issues, um, so you want to be able to uh, ch check out everything uh, right now, or not yet, uh, but there should be the steps. They're executed uh, correctly and completed, but uh, somehow it's not displaying in here. Um, yeah, that should be it. So here's Wearable, and... Uh, Basically, after you uh, run this workflow, you should be able to see uh, something similar to this one, uh, which is demo on their uh, GitHub page. So there's a mesh in here, but there's a final result uh, for the 3D generation. Okay, um, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.